Om Namah Shiva students, this is your English video class for class 4 and today we shall learn composition writing. So first we shall learn common composition structure. So listen to me very carefully students. Common composition structure. 1. Heading. Heading is a title for a composition. 2. Introduction. Introduction tells the readers what the composition is about in brief. 3. Main body. Main body is a part where we explain the topic and it supports the statement made in the introduction. Number 4. Conclusion. Conclusion is the last part of a composition where we precisely and beautifully conclude our composition. Students, so your topic for composition writing is I visited the aquarium in my city. So this is your topic and you will have to write a composition on this topic. So now I shall discuss a few points. I shall tell you a few points. You may use these points when you are writing your composition. These points may help you to write your composition. So the points are 1. Where is the aquarium located? 2. When did you go there? Uh, go to visit the aquarium? 3. Who went with you? 4. What did you see there? 5. Explain all your activities. So these are your points which you, uh, um, which will definitely help you when you are writing uh, your composition. So students, now I shall tell you that if I had to write a composition, uh, then how I would write it. And uh, my topic is, I was climbing down the hill on a rainy day. So this is my topic and now I shall tell you that how, if I had to write a composition on this topic, how I would write it. So listen to me very carefully because if you listen to me then you will get the idea. It will definitely help you to understand how to write a perfect composition. I live on top of a hill in Shimla. We have a small wooden house and my father works in a tea estate. A hill station presents the most enchanting scenic beauty in the form of gardens, orchards, flowery parks, streams, waterfalls and springs. On a Sunday morning, the sky had become gloomy and dark and it had started to rain. Mother came up to me and said we had to go down to the marketplace to buy some necessities. We got ready and started to climb down the hill. It was not easy to climb down during the rain because the narrow roads down the slope had become very wet and slippery. I could smell the raindrops in the air. I experienced how beautiful it looks when raindrops were falling onto the trees, settling onto the leaves and flowers. The weather had become, had become very cold and strong breeze and a strong breeze had started blowing we saw an old lady selling tea sitting on a slope of the hill she was soaking wet and was waiting to sell off her last pot of tea so that she could go back home we stopped to have we stopped to have tea from the old lady it felt so wonderful to have a cup of hot tea in the cold rainy weather. The wild colorful flowers swayed in the cold mountain air. As we climbed down the hill and the rain became lighter, I felt a strange sadness. I wished the rain would never stop so that I could keep admiring the perfect beauty of the hills during the rains forever and always. So students, uh, I hope you have you have understood uh, the topic very well and I know you can write a wonderful composition by using your own creativity and 
thoughts so you will have to think and you will have to be creative when you are writing a composition or any creative writing uh, so students write your composition in your english language class for copy so here we are done with today's class om namah shivaya